So what is Frankfurt's conception of freedom or freedom of will in his article, Freedom of Will and the Concept of a Person? Uh, and basically the thought is that we have desires and you might think, oh, freedom is sort of just acting on your desires. It's doing whatever uh, you want to do. And Frankfurt says, uh, no, this is not what freedom is. Freedom is something more than this, or free will at least is something more than this. Perhaps free action is acting on your desires, but free will is something extra or above this. What is free will? Free will is having the desires that you want to have and acting on the desires that you want to act on. So I have various desires. I want to eat certain things for dinner. I want to uh, get some work done for uh, one of my articles or something like this. So these are desires that I have. But then I have uh, second order or higher order desires. So these are desires about desires. So what are the desires that I have about my desires? Well, maybe I desire to desire healthy food. So I want myself to want healthy food because that way I'll eat healthy food. I want myself to want to work hard because that way I'll get lots of stuff done. I want myself to uh, want to be kind because then I'll find it easier to be kind and things like this. And Frankfurt says, when you sort of successfully satisfy your second order desires or your higher order desires, when you have the desires that you want to have, then your will is free. So as he puts it slightly more technically, the conformity of a person's will to his higher order volitions, uh, well, he's not talking about what, so what, that's what freedom is, the conformity of your will to your higher order volitions. So when you want what you want to want, that means you are free. If you don't want what you want to want, you are not free. So a very good example is the drug addict. The drug addict wants to take the drug. That's what it means to be addicted to the drug. They very much want to take the drug. But do we say, oh, the drug addict is perfectly free? We say, no, the drug addict is very sort of unfree. There's something about their will that uh, sort of takes control away from them. How does addiction take control away from them? Well, what they want to want, their second order desire, their higher order desire, is to not want the drug. They say, oh, I really wish I weren't addicted to this drug. I really wish I didn't want this drug. So we have a conflict. The first order de desire is I want the drug. The second order desire is I don't want to want the drug. And so we have a lack of free will. If they can get their first order desire uh, in line with their second order desire and stop wanting the drug, uh, they'll go back to being free. Now, of course, you can imagine a willing addict, somebody who wants to be addicted to the drug, in which case they would be free when they want the drug because they want to want the drug. But uh, those cases of addiction, we often don't think take away somebody's free will. It's when your will isn't in order with your higher order desires. That's when, according to Frankfurt, we sort of lack freedom.